classify an ideal of religion being evil these days. Well, you know, people like to throw James scripture at me about a pure religion uh, is when you feed the home, uh, what it says, uh, help the orphans and something like that. I don't know it word for word, but they like the pure, you know, they, James said pure religion. Now, people that say that, please pay attention. Please notice. Notice what the wording. Look at the wording. It didn't say religion is pure. He said a, he's describing if, more like James is describing if it's a pure religion. You know what I'm he's describing the religion. He's not saying that the religion is pure. You know what I'm saying? But to me, if it's a religion, it's going to be corrupted because religion is man's, it's, it's taking, taking the limitless God that our instructions are already given. There's a word of God. There's no need for any more instructions. Or as what the scripture says that, you know, people religious people don't understand and those that think a religion is supposed to have anything to do with christianity uh believe this ideal uh there's no adding nor taking away i think that's in revelations at the way end of of the book of revelations that you don't add to anything and you don't take away because everything is all ready there it's god doesn't need your addition and he doesn't need you subtracting to his word of god he is a, a follow instructions really it's supposed to be the model all the way from the old testament to adam to god telling adam and eve to not eat from the fruit of the tree all the way down there the the the, the scenario if you go if, if things are going if things are getting bad if things are getting terrible, if things are getting horrible, that is because of the decision making. You know, the decision making of people of wanting to yield to an influence based upon the lust of the flesh. That's it. There's no, like, you know, you see these shows on television, they say, what is the problem? Well, the problem is da 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 blah 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 blah. You know, y'all like to listen to them. And, of course, they're going to present a natural solution because in a natural, you can blah, 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 and talk about different kind of aerials and whatever thing you can do with that, I, you know, what they do on television. But the thing is, and, of course, men, you know, uh, the, they have their, well, first of all, it's something that is false, you know what I'm saying? You know, they have to falsify things to create lies. And false is an ideal of half truth. Half truth, not all of the truth, but half of the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's how majority of these religions that are, or Christian religions, is, you know, it's crazy. There's not like many religions in uh, uh, Hindu and Muslim you know what I'm saying? There are not many religions that someone took a uh, uh, Hindu or a uh, Muslim and make their own things. There are not many of them. You know what I'm saying? There are like a few people will take, you know, Hindu and, and Buddhist and all that stuff. And a few, you know what I'm saying, try to create their own ideal twist to it. There's a few of them. But there's a whole bunch, whole bunch, whole heap of bunch of christian religions you know i saw that uh, uh somebody did a research on that idea you know i saw that oh my god but there's a whole heap of christian religions you know a whole bunch of them. my wife's a whole bunch of christian religions are over here and just a few you know hindu this other ideal of Hindu or this other ideal of Islam or this other ideal of Buddhist or the other ideal of whatever else. You know what I'm saying? But there's a whole bunch of I, uh, religions with Christianity. Well, it's kind of like me, I tell to tell people, is to uh, put more hay 
on the needle in a haystack. You know, we want to mainly cover the main answer to the problems that are going to this world and try to make men the restricted thinkers, the carnal minded restricted thinkers to be the ideal influence that men, people need to follow. And so, and whatever man or woman comes out with an ideal, you know, religion or ideal book of something, you're going to read it and you're going to, oh, I got this interesting ideal from this man and this woman that she said, or he said this and this is and this. And if we do this, we can solve problems here. If we follow this book and follow that book, you know, and I'm going to, I can, I can't wait to get the other book, you know, that they're going to come out with and pay a lot of money for it. Oh, the scenario of a lot of people I know these days, they will read books and read more books and more books of an ideal this way. No, a book is already there. Book is already there. It's called the Bible. Yes. And I've been, thank God I've been raised from a King James Version, and I got an idea in the logistics of what the scenario of true ideal of Christianity is supposed to be all about, and, and, and what it's not supposed to be all about, which is important concerning this message, that, you know, finding out men is now putting more their ideal emphasis, their restricted, more likely emphasis, on something that's have already been established. How you doing, sir? Uh, they put more restrictions on the idea of the scriptures that, you know, that's why I couldn't, you know, the idea that somebody was talking to me about uh, the theology and stuff like the, you know, theologians and stuff like, you know, men now putting their ideal to Jesus Christ's word, you know, I have a difficult time with that idea that now you're going to help me get an a interpretation of God, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute, a, a, limit, a, a limitless God, a God of limitations that created a universe, no problem, uh, uh, that created a universe and this pea brain moron, sorry y'all, I have to use that language. Uh, why I say pea brain? Um, I, I I just gonna choose pea brain because that is a whole. That's an ideal of someone with a small brain, com, uh, that is compared to a, a limitless, infinite brain that created the universe. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell me about God and an ideal aspects of God. You know. Uh, that is what you call the, the ridiculous, I mean, that's what precedes ideals of the religious, or creating a, an, an ideal religion of some other angle that we're supposed to see God in, and, a, and another angle we see God in, full of, to me, I call uh, per artificial preservatives of men thinking of them mistreating, you know, the uh, book that was already there that have the better information to understand who God is and what you must do to follow him and fulfill the purpose, fulfill your purpose because he created you, Genesis 126, made in the image and the likeness of God. The instruction uh, is, 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 is easy to understand, but I discovered in, you know, me, my YouTube channel, Mac Johnson, The Reality, you know, as what Jesus gave me the scripture that they have eyes, but they can't see, they have ears, but they can't hear, neither do they understand in your heart. Well, he, it's just simple. They have eyes and they see God's word, but they can't see it because they're not going to see it because it's not all about their flesh. It's just that simple. You know, they're not going to see God's word because God's word is about spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're not going to hear God's word because it's not about the flesh. It's not something that's going to gratify the flesh because us human beings love things that or desire things that gratifies the flesh and make them look great and make them look like they all that and then some and make 
you know, and op and that's how you operate in the lust of, uh, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. You operate in pride. You think high-minded that you know better than another person, you know, that know better than another person contest that people get in too many times. That creates arguments, you know, that I know this and I know that and you don't know this kind of ideal rigmarole role I see, unfortunately, more in the church, you know, it's supposed to be going on in the world, but it's more in the church than anything else. But that's another message. But the idea of these, you know, systems that has been going on in human history and haven't been strongly pretty much confronted, you know, it hasn't been confronted enough, you know, and it's sad. Have a wonderful day. It's not having been confronted enough for to bring more emphasis to truly be about the sim simple situation as what Matthews 13, 15 should reveal. It's just they have eyes, but they can't see. They have ears, but they can't hear. Neither do they understand the heart because it, oh, whoa, Florida State coming at me. Understand the heart. Neither do it understand the word of God because as it says, it's, we about the flesh, we love the flesh, we love satisfying the flesh, we love, you know, indulging the flesh, but we don't like to get in the spirit because, you know, Jesus showed this direction of the spirit that you have to, like, you know, uh, lose your life, you know, you have to, you know, that that's a crazy zany idea for a person in the flesh that you have to submit and surrender and follow the instructions of your creator and do what your creator says and not do what you want to do. That ideal is not going to sit right with people that desires to do what they want to do, you know, which is the ideal mindset of the lust of the flesh is do what you want to do, you know, do what you want to do based upon the flesh, you know, that that's why men will always have other options. It's, that's what re, religion is a system that keeps everybody with other options, other options, other options, other options. Then the, the Lord thy God is one Lord, uh, one option. One thing you need to understand if you're going to understand one thing. And the thing is, if you're not, and he, the, and he has, and there's only, I love 1 Corinthians. Uh, eight and six there's only one god and there's only one lord and savior see there's one you know what I'm saying there's no many options out there that you should go after and truly find out that they're trying heaven is trying to hint to those that are truly people of them. <laughs> heaven are she was heaven are truly you know uh trying to for those that have eyes to see and ears to hear there's just one option there's only one way, and one one has throughout you know the word of God is the scenario for those that truly want to follow God needs to understand this one thing, and that's what the I, the limit the limitless God has a plan for your life that He wants you in heaven with Him forever. If you follow the instructions of this word of God, this one Bible, this one Bible can help you be one with the God that created you through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that died for you, that you can become one with him is supposed to be the simple ideal of Christianity. The faith, not the religion, but the faith, the faith that comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, the faith that is substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that not seen, more likely substance of things that are hoped for and evidence that is spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Not not the natural, but the spiritual now. You now see spiritual to see the truth of the reality of what the limitless God has created. You know what I'm saying? It's the ideal of limitless God. But if it has limitations to it that requires the flesh to perform it, it's religion. And religion has no place with God concerning anything whatsoever. Only through Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus Christ hate religion and that's why he called them hypocrites and vipers that's why he called the religious people hypocrites and vipers it's crazy jesus can call names bad names to religious people and christians can make sense of religion being a part of christianity
That's nuts. All right, that's the message. Hope you got it. Hope it made sense to you. Hope you got it. God be the glory. I'm forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.